Back on CSS here on Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami assistant coach Gino Damari and hitting coach Gino Damari. We have to be satisfied sweeping North Carolina because you found a way to score runs, a variety of ways to score runs against a great pitching staff. Well, you're right. They uh, number one uh, pitching staff in the ACC, and I think there were six overall in the country. And you know, I was very pleased, especially with opening night, we faced the best pitcher in the conference, and our guys did a great job. I think we did a good job of preparing for them. Uh, we cut down on our strikeouts. We got on base. Uh, we got a big course three-run home run from Pete late in the game. was kind of the knockout punch. But, you know, to put eight runs up against a staff like that was very, very rewarding for us, and uh, I felt good about it. I think the next two games, we uh, would like to have seen us swing the bat a little bit better, especially with guys in scoring position. We left quite a few guys on base. But overall, very, very pleased with our performance. You mentioned the home run by Pete O'Brien and Esteban Trescao hit one out to win the ball game for you. And then you were also able to manufacture some runs playing some small ball. Yeah, we did. We, uh, I thought we did a good job bunting all weekend, whether it was sacrificing or laying down base hit bunts. Uh, but, you know, you can't overlook our pitching. Our p pitching set the tone for the entire uh, weekend, I think, you know, with the, having the two shutouts. Uh, it's just something that's, you know, it's very hard to do, especially against a team like North Carolina. And, uh, you know, our guys, I felt like, played better defense than we had been playing. Uh, and, of course, we, we did get some uh, timely hits there, a couple two-out hits in, in some of the uh, games over the weekend. So very gratifying, very rewarding, but we got to turn the page and continue to keep playing well. Sometimes things are contagious, whether it's hitting or defense, and your defense was pretty good this weekend. Yeah, I, th I think so, and you're right. It is very contagious, and uh, I think for me, I, I, I got to tell you, the team, the, the whole weekend, it just seemed like a little bit of a different attitude in the dugout. You know, I think the guys were just more – focused, more energized for whatever reason. Maybe it was the opportunity of playing the number three team in the country and the fact that we hadn't been playing well and knew that we needed to get it going. But uh, defensively is huge because we know, we feel strong that uh, the strength of our team is our pitching. But you gotta play defense behind the guys. You're not gonna strike everybody out. And that's not really the strength of our pitching staff is not striking out a lot of guys. So we gotta play good defense. And um, you know, overall, I think over the weekend we did that. You could hold this past weekend up to the players, perhaps, and show them why it's important uh, to maintain that number six ranking or, or stay in the top eight. They played great against Carolina. And if you stay in the top eight, there's an excellent chance of playing in the postseason at your home ballpark. You got to want to be here when you're playing at that time of the year. We've kind of done it both ways, and we've been successful both ways. But I think if you looked in the history of Miami's program, whether it's the regionals or super regionals, we don't lose here very often. You have to go back a long time. I think lost, 1990 was the lost last. two regionals here. That's it. Yeah, in the history. In the history. And we've, if you look, we've played quite a few regionals here over the years. So this is a different ballpark in the playoffs. The stadium, the atmosphere. There's nothing like it. I feel like I've always felt like that as a former player and as a coach. And uh, I know for our players. I don't believe any of our players have, have had the ability to host a regional, super regional. I know it would be something special for us to be able to do. It gives us a better chance of getting Omaha, and that's all you can ask for is giving yourself the best path to get there. You mentioned you've done it as a player and a coach. That's part of the, uh, the Miami magic at this ballpark. That's part of the tradition. Absolutely. You know, uh, I played, unfortunately, I did play in one year where we didn't win the regional. I think that was probably the last time we didn't, which was 1990 when the Citadel, Citadel. came in here and beat us. But, uh, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, this place is, is, is a magical place. You know that. You know, I've been fortunate enough to play here and grow up here watching games here. I went to many regional games when I wasn't a player here, just growing up in the town here. And uh, there's just nothing like... Uh, the stadium, and, and especially late in the season in the regionals or super regionals, the place just comes alive. You have to go on the road this weekend at Virginia Tech. What's different about hitting on the road uh, for your squad or just in general hitting on the road? Well, I think just preparing for the game, it's a little bit different. You know, you're, you're at, you know, the, another facility where, you know, you're on a little bit more of a time restraint. So you can't do everything that you'd like to do when you're at your ballpark and prepare, whether it's using the machines to work on breaking balls or breaking down the doing more things with the hitters for me personally being with the hitters um, you know you're limited in what you can do practice wise there so uh, you know it's a little bit different I understand they have turf it's been a few years since I've been there but I guess they have turf there and it uh, just meeting with coach the coaches this morning it sounds like there's you know there's that you got to be involved in our guys haven't played on turf all year 
Um, it's, I'm not sure how many fields we'll be playing on turf this year. But so, you know, you got to just prepare for those different things, but you still got to play the game. It doesn't change. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. We're joined now by University of Miami closer, EJ Encinosa. EJ, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, a new role for you this year. You are, your job is to come in and slam the door. You're the closer. Comes with a little bit of pressure. How's it been for you? It's been great, to be honest. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to do as a freshman. You know, now I've actually had the opportunity. And it's just, a, it's more of a mental adjustment, I would say. And it comes with, over time, as the first couple of games, you're kind of getting used to it, you know, getting ready, the preparation. But... Now it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You have really good stuff, and you can be overpowering. But the key for you is what? Movement, I would say. I would, uh, my best pitch is my sinker. Keep the ball down, and uh, you know, hopefully these strikeouts come. But it leaves a lot of ground balls, which is, which is good. Uh, do you have a preference coming into the game with men on base or coming in to start the ninth inning? I would, I'd prefer to start the ninth inning. I would say it's a little easier. I'm more comfortable from the windup. But uh, you know, as a reliever, you can't really uh, pick and choose whichever situation. You just got to do the job. Coach Morris will always say the toughest three outs in baseball come in the ninth inning. Uh, I would have to agree. At first, I was really skeptical about it. I thought, you know, it's three outs. I don't know what these closers are complaining about, but it's definitely the you start feeling that uh, the adrenaline going, the crowds into it more. The teams are there's a little more life in the stadium, but it's it's not that bad. I was just say, why do you think those three outs? That's always the great argument. It's a, that's why baseball is such a second guessing game. Oh, why did they bring the closer in? They should have left the starter in. It's only three more outs. Why are those three outs so tough? It's just, uh, I would say, it's, uh, the other team's last time to throw that, that last punch. So, you know, they're, they're trying to get up there. They're trying to come back. No one wants to lose a game. So it's the last three outs. You start feeling the pressure. You know, if we don't get this job this inning, the game's over. So it's, uh, it's a little more difficult. Uh, University of Miami's always had really good closers under Coach Moore. So there's, there's a great tradition of closers here. Yeah, I would say it's a, it's a compliment. You know, some people would, uh, would take the, oh, he was a starter, why do you want to close? But to me, it's a compliment. We've had good tradition, like I said here. All the closers in the past, you know, you have uh, Chris Presley, you know, all-star. Mm -hmm. Some of the guys, you know, the people I've looked at, um, look up to watching these games uh, as, a, as a young child coming to these games. So it's definitely, it's a, it's a pleasure. And that will do it for this week's show, coming to you from the home dugout at Alex Rodriguez Park. The Hurricanes on the road against Virginia Tech. Next week, we're going to preview Miami and Florida State. Right now, the Knowles are ranked number one. The Canes are ranked number six. It should be very entertaining. So join us next week right here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS. So long, everyone.